It's way too short. <laughs> For 14 year old Amanda and her mother, <laughs> Tina, the mall is a minefield. Nearly every turn. Tight. That's a little short. But they have yeah, a little low cut. Brings a familiar fight. Uh oh, Abercrombie. Are we going in? No, we're not going in. We'll just walk up. <laughs> but for many teenage girls, look, long earrings draw the eye down to your bust. It's easy to see why showing a little too much can be so appealing. Yeah. From supposed good girls like Miley Cyrus yeah. it's a party in the USA. to those that make a living being bad. Pop culture can be unrelenting on teens and tweens. Now some parents are battling back by asking an age-old question with a twist. What would Jesus wear? When I finally made that decision to like choose the modest dress, I really felt like the Holy Spirit was like standing right there like, do it, just do it, you'll be okay. This is for all you girls about 13. It's called pure fashion, part Sunday school, part charm school, part fashion intervention with a mission to get girls to go mild. The idea with pure fashion is, is very countercultural. So it takes a girl who's very brave and gutsy. We have to make our hearts more beautiful from the inside out. Brenda Sharman, a former Miss Georgia and lifelong model, is the creator. This is not for the weak and wimpy girl to actually say, I'm different. I'm going to protect and preserve my innocence and my purity. And I'm planning on, you know, waiting for sex until I'm married. And that's the girl that's radical. It's very easy to fall in with the rest of the girls at the mall. Where Amanda and her mom, Tina, are still stranded. You know I don't like this store. But can I just try with this? I mean, we can probably the only thing we can get is pajamas. I have to say, shopping does not come easy for us. We can be civil with each other. <laughs> is that true? Sometimes we yeah. can, and sometimes we can be very bitter towards each other. Mostly me, bitter to towards my mom. With Jesus in one corner of her room and the Jonas Brothers in the other, the high school freshman spends the week in a school uniform and the weekends arguing over what to wear. What's the biggest fight? So far, the biggest fight has been over these shorts right here. Whenever I would see a cute guy, I would usually um, pull them up a little bit and like kind of maybe fold the little edge over here. For um, Tina, enough is enough. I don't want her to be distracted by men, and so I kind of don't want men to look at her at all, so not notice her, but um, I recognize that they will, and so I just want to make sure they look at her in the way that I see her, which is, you know, pure and and beautiful and innocent. I still really want to be beautiful and like try as hard as I can to attract some attention. I don't want a lot. I don't really care about a whole lot of attention, just some. Certainly you dress to attract the attention. Yes, I do. Tina drags Amanda to a pure fashion conference in Atlanta with 40 like-minded moms hoping to steer their girls from vulgar to virtuous. To be classy and covered, modern, and modest. Brenda Sharman teaches the do's and don'ts of dressing. We recommend that necklines don't need to be more than four fingers below the collarbone. Put them on your collarbone, and that's about as low as your neckline needs to plunge. Then there's close so tight revealing. Reinforced by older girls who graduated through the program. Our prophet asked each girl to be a picture of femininity, to show the world in modest dress that we're not the same as all the rest. Pure fashion is now in 24 states and a dozen countries. For one Sunday each month, high school girls are taught what not to wear. Tank tops and short shorts are out, long sleeves and loose pants are in. Culminating in a fashion show where they showcase their pure style. The methods vary, but the basic message is clear. Girls who expose too much risk much more. Every year, approximately 400,000 teens have abortions. And according to UNICEF, half of all new HIV infections occur in young people between the ages of 15 to 24. Are these things that these girls are ready to talk about? I mean, I thought I was coming here for a fashion show. There is a problem out there. We have to admit it. And if we don't talk to them about it, the rap star and the song is going to say something to the girls. And then they're going to watch a show like Desperate Housewives. And, you know, and they're getting these mixed messages. So we have to be that small, still voice teaching them 
you know, what God says and, and what our beliefs are as Christians. I mean, this is a Christian program, so we talk very openly about the fact that our faith and our actions need to align. A few years ago... Putting faith into action with the help of your girlfriends is what Pure Fashion is all about. The girls spend a lot of time talking to each other. This has been really helpful for me because I've been able to change my heart in a way to you know, live purity and modesty like more in everyday life. But not all of these changes come easily. I have struggled with that before, like wanting to wear my tight jeans and everything, but coming here has helped me a lot. <laughs> yeah, why is that? What, uh, what kind of, if you wear the tight jeans, what's the consequence, do you think? Guys, look at your body more than your like personality and your heart and stuff. When a guy thinks about me, like I don't want him to think of me like in the bathing suit that I wore to our some party. Like, I got him to think of me as the girl that like that helped him out with something. And like that if the girl that like that he wants to marry. Amanda is remarkably quiet, but her peers have made an impression. Now I'm gonna go back in my over my closet with my friends and my mom. And we're gonna definitely throw out some of the shorts <laughs> that I showed you and some shirts. Is that gonna be hard for you? It's gonna be definitely really hard. Why is that? I mean, my white shorts, they're, they have some good memories. It's a small you know, victory for Amanda's mom and perhaps an even bigger one for Brenda, who admits she is fighting a losing battle. I think that if we can resensitize, you know, several hundred hearts or several thousand or several million, it's worth all the effort. There may always be this tension between us, but, uh, you know, again, I'll battle as long as I can. It's something I really believe strongly in and I think she knows I won't give up. No, <laughs> she won't. I'm Yunji Denise for Nightline in Atlanta. I find the cheaper, quick